Hey peeps, Heather here, positively calm. Do I have anything in my teeth? Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about this whole e-collar thing. Oh my God, you shock your dogs. That's disgusting. Not shocking! So when we do e-collar conditioning, we're using the lowest number that the dog initially feels any sensation from the remote. Seriously, it feels like a skater. We're not blasting our dog! So this can range from anywhere from two to 15. Most dogs work in between a six and an eight. The two floofs that I have here today work on a two and three. Seriously, folks, humans can't even feel that sensation whatsoever. Why would you ever need an e-collar? For off-leash reliability, yay! When I slap those bad boys on my dogs, and I take them over to my mom and dad's house, they get free reign of their backyard, which is a giant orchard. But if they run off 50 yards, all I have to do is, hello, hello. Hey buddy, come. Tap, 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 it works. It's just such an awesome feeling. You don't have to worry about your dog running off ever again. It's a tap on the shoulder. Don't you want to take your dog everywhere you go? If I'm walking my dog and he sees lizard, he pulls my arm out of socket, best be sure the conversation will be a little bit louder. Hey! Or if I'm out walking someone else's dog and he wants to eat you, hello! And pulls me down to the ground, the e-collar is going to have a conversation with him. Just an interrupter! No, this is not allowed. Period. So e-collars are just another form of communication. That's a new language for your dogs. They're amazing. That's why I love e-collars. It's just so empowering. To always know that your dog is always going to be safe. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Happy tails.